Okay, we are counting down to three weeks of traffic Armageddon. And we're not much more than, what, 48 hours away from the permanent closure of the viaduct. And after warning people for months and months what was coming for public agencies that have to make it all work, the pressure is on for one final push. King 5's Glenn Farley following it all for us. This is sort of a, this is kind of, yeah, pressure, final day. This is it. This, this was it, you know, with 48 hours to go. Um, you know, how serious, this talks about how serious agencies are dealing with things like human factors. It will make the difference in all of this. For example, if you park in a new no parking zone, your car is likely to disappear. Along 4th Avenue, there's a smiling sign of what's to come. It says tunnel direct under downtown from the stadiums to the Space Needle. But getting to our happy driving place means we have to go through the signs of the times for the next three weeks mega traffic, parking restrictions, and frayed nerves. We have done all the planning that we can do. We are ready. We Heather Marks is director of downtown mobility for Seattle's Department of Transportation. The wild card is you, the person who lives in Seattle or one of the 250,000 who enter and leave the city every day to go to work. Take mass transit, work from home, shift your schedule away from the busiest commute times. So that, that the plans that we have can work and police are standing by. For days, they've been out ready to deal with traffic issues at the corner of First and Edgar Martinez after the stadium district ramps closed last Friday night. And they'll be joined by others at important intersections like along First and Fourth Avenues, which will serve as major corridors in and out of the city for traffic and transit. We're also going to be doing bus lane enforcement. We've already started that. Assistant Chief Steve Herjack with the Seattle Police Department, all part of a multi-agency news conference pleading with people to be flexible, patient, and cooperative. Steer it and clear it. If you're in an accident and you're not hurt and your car can move, please get it out of the road. And tow trucks could get a workout. The city won't hesitate to clear out cars parked where they're not supposed to be. We're going to really get out there, so do not park in those no parked areas. But while traffic threatens mayhem around the city, inside the south and north construction zones, contractors are poised to connect up the tunnel. It starts with these viaduct ramp columns marked with an orange X. Near the south end of the tunnel, their removal along with the ramp deck to complete a new section of Dearborn Avenue off of First, which ties the surface streets to the ramps to and from Highway 99. WSDOT's Dave Sowers. So we're ready for Friday night. We're just working out the final details. There was a dry run for this, remember, via doom in the spring of 2016, but then there were tens of thousands of fewer people living and certainly working in Seattle. So that was two and a half years ago. You know, I think I would feel a lot better if I knew there was one person in charge. Is there like a viaduct czar out yes, there? Yes, he's been on the job a week today. Yeah, General Warden, retired Air Force General, uh, he is supposed to be in that role. He is interfacing with Heather Marks, who you've heard from in the Department of Transportation. He was a runner-up for that job. But in this job, he kind of oversees all of this. And his deal there is to deal with sort of the unexpected. So obviously, we, as you heard from Ted Land, we got fire, we have police, we have emergencies that need to be dealt with along with just getting around. And so how are all these agencies going to sort of interface? And his, his job was one of accountability, and we're hoping to actually hear from him for the first time directly tomorrow in terms of, as the mayor said last week, if it's nobody's job, nobody's doing the job. Hmm. He has that job, and his is to be in the emergency operations center to coordinate all this kind of stuff and make sure if there is a glitch, and particularly the unexpected. And there's a lot of potential for that. Like I said, the human factor is there. Mm -hmm. You know, if we get, like we do, as we said over and over again, if we get three or four days into it and people say, well, it wasn't so bad, I'm gonna drive today and everybody else makes the same decision, which we've seen, then we have like what we had this morning. And, it, and that's more proof that it doesn't take much. The buck stops there at the general.